I got a question on what are the common mistakes that people make when doing a readiness check uh, before the project starts. I would say I would already be very happy if people do a readiness check. I think the number one common mistake people make is not even doing a readiness check. Because with a readiness check, you can really look where are you from a people process and data perspective. So the biggest common mistake people make is not doing that readiness check up front. Um, of course, if you do the readiness check, uh, you can always make mistakes. If you look at the people aspect, you might not involve the, the right people, the right stakeholders. Um, if you look at it from a process perspective, uh, have you covered all the processes? Have you also asked the second, the third, and the fourth question to discover what is uh, what is really behind the processes? What are these little process steps that people often uh, forget but simply have somewhere in their head? Uh, but not documented or anything. Um, and then from a data perspective, um, what is the data that you have? Do, do you collect the right data? Um, or are there some special cases that you might overlook? Or maybe people still have somewhere um, a, a hidden Excel file which they haven't shared with some data on that you need to take into account. So that are things that can happen. So I think uh, it's always important in the readiness check, not just take the first answer, but ask a second, third, and fourth question to try to really uh, uncover um, the underlying uh, truth, underlying people topics, underlying process and underlying data uh, issues. So really take that into account when you do a readiness check. And then of course, if you do one, then that's already a good start. Then take these things into account and you will have a good readiness check before the start of your project.